which way is he going? Left or right? We're going left. I bet he's going left as well. Not that you'd know from looking at his indicators. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's going left. left. I knew he'd go left. So you're going to have to get past him anyway. Now, see, this is what happens when you live in the country. You've got a tractor going that way and a tractor coming this way and there's loads. What's this big thing here? Big tractor. Uh, the thing is, I'm not sure if our moho can go fast enough to overtake the tractor. <laughs> Traffic. Look at it all. And there we go, there we go, there we go, there's a go. Whoa, whoa! It's You're gonna make the only it? Thing we can overtake. Whee! Yeah, it is. <laughs> and we're just coming up now on some river works. They're actually they're on a bridge and they're doing the pilings of the bridge itself. They're reinforcing them, aren't they? Reinforcing them, I think. They must have been collapsing at some point or another. So they're out there with a, a digger on a pontoon full of big rocks, sorting it out. Oh, it's been in 40 years, this bridge, isn't it? Oh, yeah, about 40 years, this bridge. So, for people who are wondering why we're so knackered and why we're going on a, a little break, you like to tell us what we've been doing, Cherry? Well, we've been doing the garden for a start, haven't we? Yeah. We've been working in the garden since February, doing landscaping jobs and tidying up. The garden was quite well planted, but we haven't really had much time for it the last few years, have we? No. So it's quite a bit mental. So we've spent loads of time in the garden reorganising it, hey? Yeah. Changing the Things aren't moving it. You've done all the hedging, all the edging. We've got all new edging on the borders, maintenance areas, and new borders in the garden as well that we've not planted up yet. And cut hedges down, haven't we? That we don't want anymore. Yeah. All that takes loads of effort. And that, and we knocked the garage down before it fell down because it had been there like 30 odd years. Had, it was past its best, to say the least, wasn't it, Peter? It certainly was. It was half fell down, half blown away, and we just finished it off. But all these jobs take time, so we've been at that for at least a couple of months, maybe two and a half months now we've been doing that, haven't we? Yeah, non-stop. And, yeah, and we've been running our business as well. Yeah, and working as well. And where the garage was, we decided to make a scenario because our garden can get a bit windy, can't it? Yeah. And even on my sunny days, um, if there's a bridge, it can be nifty even though it's gorgeous out. So we decided to make an area on the base of the garage um, to have as a scenario. Indeed. It's like a garden room and it's got um, windshield all around it. So hopefully. It catches the full sun, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll be able to spend some time in there. We're going to have some nice plant, plants in there, aren't we? More chocolate looking. And a log burner. And a little water bubble pot. And some furniture for sitting and having lunch and stuff. And that's what you've been working on, isn't it? And drinking our moscatel. Oh, Stretch the Moscatel season as far as we can, yeah. So, guys, if you're interested, I'm not that we will be, in seeing what we're doing in the garden, uh, put a, com a couple of comments down, like the video, and uh, we'll do a short one around the garden for you. Just coming up to the high street now, which gets narrower and narrower. And we have to go down this little turn in here. This is exciting. Wait for the car to come by. And off we go again. Goodness knows what you do with one, some of these top-end motorhomes that are about 600 foot long. <laughs> 
seven foot, eight, seven meters or eight meters. Yeah. Quite big old road. I, I don't know if they've got a size restriction on this site actually. Some sites do, don't they? they yeah. Size and weight restriction. And this is the views you get, isn't that wonderful? That's Channery Point sticking out over there. Yeah. Go to watch the dolphins. Oh yeah. We're just coming up on the site now. On to on the right here. Well done. We've arrived at reception. Just get out of the yeah. Okay, this is the uh, reception area and the block where you enter the chemical toilet and it's got showers which aren't open until the 17th of May and uh, the toilets and the washing up area. So this is really the beginning of the site, this is where you come in at. And you can see the site goes, this is the road going down beside the site. So we're coming along now, this is the, the row of caravans that are parked there at the moment. And you've got more caravans going to park down this side, they're not here yet. Or motorhomes? Uh, or motorhomes, yeah. And this is the view you get. For the bay? For the bay. And if you just look up there, I don't know if I can enlarge it for you. Right, you can just see another centre just there when it refocuses because it's got my finger in it. See the little hut there, that is another set of buildings which is the same down at reception for your water and washing and toilets for the top half for the top half of the site which is about the same length again goes further around the bay and that's the site really it's not a fantastically big one but the staff are very friendly how much was it uh, off -season, so off season it was 20 it was 20 pound a night off season with hookup which i think is very reasonable It's cold. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Nice and sunny, but the wind's a bit nippy, isn't it? And we're parked, can you see the van behind me there? Oh, yeah, yeah, So we're just going to have a little walk up to the toilet block because uh, the old man wants a pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we'll, can we have lunch after that? We'll have lunch after that and have a look around there. Eh? It's a nice little village here, actually, isn't it? Yeah, from Trace's, lovely. Yeah, yeah like. it is a nice village. Someone's looking at my mum. There's people on the other side of the road. Uh -huh. Yeah, quite fondly. Yeah, fondly. Yeah. So it's a bit difficult getting a video of me and Sherry because... Oh, shut up. She's cause... so short. I have to hold it like that. <laughs> Something smells nice. Coffee? Ah, oh, he made some coffee for us. I made us some nice coffee. Nice coffee in our little billetti. It's not a real billetti because they're too expensive. But it's a mock. You bloody. cheapskate. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> yeah. but we haven't used it in the past. Mind you, can you imagine going away and not being able to have an espresso? No. So this is as near to a nice espresso as we can get in the van without buying an espresso machine. <laughs> okay then. Come and drink it. Bon appetit. We're off to Fort Trose village. Yep, we're walking up into the village. Right, let's see. Maybe we're going to get a bacon bacon roll. Bacon roll. Okay, bacon roll with coffee. That'll be love. And we'll take a couple of pictures while we're up there. We will. But it's all uphill. Yeah, I know it's all uphill, so I ain't going to be able to talk about so. <laughs> But it's all downhill coming back. <laughs> right, so what we'll do is when we get back, we'll take a few photos of the site. The site is not that big. But it's nice. But it's a nice site. So we'll take a few photos of the bits and pieces. And it's a beautiful sunny day, isn't it? It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, so we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>